superior race. We were here first, and this is our country. Look at me, I'm on the edge of the, the vanguard to save the white race. Guns, ammo, steel toe, Doc Martens, tattooing. Violence was just prerequisite to enter or exit. Life After Hate was founded by ex-neo-Nazi white supremacists, and they knew that they wanted to help other guys get out. I can't tell you how many hundreds of people while they're in the movement, are too afraid to leave. What really changed me was receiving compassion from the people that I least deserved it from, when I least deserved it. You've got to find a way to find an affirmation in every discussion, no matter how bad it feels that it's going. It takes guts to do that. This is why the intervention can't rely on my charisma. We are like the anti-venom to hate, you know what I mean? Because we have, we had that venom in us and we know how to spew it and we know how to also make it an anti-venom. You should have been so badly broken that there's no way you could come back from this. If you did, so can he. Right. Someone in that life who may not be aware that there's a way out, you know, what would you say to them? Let go all the hate, man. That hate wow. ruins you. You humanized him, which allowed him to humanize you. Like you that, go. that's not rocket science, but yeah, it's, it's evading the majority of the country right now. It's a lot of change that you're getting thrown at you right now. You know? Yeah, yeah, a lot. You guys have been lifelongs. And that's why I think... Ir 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 irreplaceable, you know? We are operating as human beings from one of two places. Fear or love. And we get to choose which one that is.